Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make pain type beats from scratch. So the vibe's going to be perfect for artists such as Lil Durk, Rod Wave, and even UK rappers such as Jordan, Rimsey, and Potter Paper. And as always, man, if you like the beats I'm making these videos, make sure you check out my drum kits, which are linked in the description. But let's get straight into it. All right, so when it comes to pain beats, there isn't really a set BPM you should be using because it's more about the chords and the vibe that you create. I hear stuff around 160 BPM, some stuff around 90, even 100, 142, it just completely varies. But for this one, I'm gonna work around 100. Just gonna start off with a piano. I'll just use this one as my go-to and then I change it if I need to. And just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna select a scale and we'll go with D minor. And if you don't know this already, each note within the scale has its own number. So for example, the root note would be one, E would be two, F would be three, G would be four, and so on. And there's a few different chord progressions that people use for pain melodies, but the most common one is this one. You're literally just going down in the scale. So you're going from one, seven to six. I'm just gonna press control and L. And then what people do is go back up the scale. and then you can build chords around that. I'm not gonna stick to this exact thing, but you'll see what I mean. So to build chords, we just skip every other note and then we'll just copy these over just so you can see what it sounds like. And then you could take the bass notes, bring these down an octave. See what I'm saying? You've probably heard that in a ton of beats without realizing it. From there, you could play around with inversions. For example, you could bring the middle note up an octave. As long as you're using those bass notes to start with, you'll probably end up with a pain type melody. But because I've heard it being played like this so many times, I'm still gonna use the bass notes, but I'm just gonna change how it's played. So I'm gonna stretch this out. And we'll maybe even do it further, like here. And then we'll bring the C back. I think we could just repeat that or I'll build out the chords first. So I'm gonna bring these up an octave. I always start with the same process of just skipping every other note just to make it easy. And now we can try some things to get it sounding a bit different. So maybe I'll pitch the root notes up or invert them. And then I could turn these into sevenths as well. Let's try this. So I like that. Or I could even bring some of these notes out. Could even change it. Just manually adjust some. And then we'll try some different notes. Do the same here. I like that. We'll strum these as well with Alt and S. So I like to do some manually and then some we can use Alt and S. You can always change it a bit after. Yeah, maybe there. Strum these. Same again. And then same thing with this. I like to manually adjust some. So I just hold Alt and then use the mouse wheel to bring down the velocity. There we go. So that's a good starting point, but I definitely want to make this a bit more complex. Might even pitch this whole thing up an octave. So from here, what I'd usually do is record something in on my keyboard for a counter melody. But if you don't know how to record something in, I'd recommend just sticking within the scale and just clicking some notes in until you like the sound of it. One little semi cheat code is to use notes that are already in the chords you're using. So for example, F, A, D, and F. I like the way A sounds. But just experiment. like that. See what I'm saying? I'm just clicking notes in, sticking within the scale. And then once I like the sound of it, I roll with it. And for these melodies, it's like all about the piano. So I'm going to copy that over and then just try and make it more interesting on this side. And then what you can also do is make cuts in the chords you've created. So for example, I could slice it and then bring down the velocity. Same here. 
So I feel like most of the work is actually in creating that piano melody. But once you've got that, you can start layering things, trying a few different sounds, maybe a few accent notes, some vocals, and we'll see what we can make. Just wanna see if I can find a different sound in piano though. Either way, we're gonna process it. I think I already prefer this one. And then I want it to be quite vibey so we can add quite a bit of reverb. I already know we're gonna add some RC20. Let's bring down the wobble a bit. And this. Last thing I'm gonna add is just EQ. Take out some of the lows. All right, I've made one more change to the MIDI because I always change my mind. So I've only done it in this section. So instead of the chords just going up, I've just adjusted them a bit just to make the chords a bit more interesting. All right, so from here, I'd usually add something like a pad just to sit underneath it. So let's try something like this. We'll just copy the MIDI. We'll get rid of the counter melody. And what we could do is just bring all the notes back and quantize everything. Now that preset sounds kind of sick. Could run with that. And then with the pads, I always like to filter out a lot of the low end. Yeah, hard. I also like to widen it a bit with Pancake, or Shaper Box, Ozone, whichever one you have. All right, next up, I feel like this melody needs some sort of soulful vocal. So for that, we could use Arcade. So these vocals sound sick. I just want the vocals to be real subtle. And he'll so like this. Or this one actually. All I have on this is just an EQ, some delay and some reverb. I've also got an imager just to make it a bit more spread. Yeah, I like the way it sounds there. All right, I've just found another vocal in Arcade and this will come in a different section. So I'm just gonna copy all the settings from this and then I wanna take more high end out of the second one. So I really wanna add this here. That sounds so hard. It needs to go in one part. All right, I'm just gonna add some texture as well because I want this vinyl loop. I know there's some in RC20, but I'm going to turn that one off because I always use that noise in there. And then I've just got this one from Splice. So yeah, just a bit of EQ, some more reverb. And that's what the texture sounds like underneath. That's without. This adds to the atmosphere. Next up, we can add a sub bass and I'm going to go with the Growl and Moog bass in Omnisphere. Sub bass is so sick. Maybe just a couple notes to make it slide as well. Yeah, that might be it. All right, we're almost there, but I know in one section, I'm gonna want an electric guitar. So I've just found this lick in Splice. Sounds like this. I found this one as well. This one might even be better. On the guitar, I've just got an EQ to cut out some of the low mids and the high mids. A compressor just to tame some of the peaks. A delay and reverb for atmosphere. I've also just panned it to the left a bit. So if I add that in like a bridge or something, it's going to be perfect. So yeah, that's going to be it for the melody, man. I feel like if I add anything else to this, it's just going to be overdoing it. So let's get some drums in. I swap this for a clap soon. I'll have two parts. And I think we're gonna have to add the spins to this one. So we'll have one section of the sub bass and then going into the spins.
Okay, we'll grab an open hat in as well. And maybe we could just copy the eight weights. Pitch the rim down one two. And as you can hear, I'm not really going crazy with the eight weights. For these type of beats, you just want to leave a lot of space for an artist to write. If they're choosing a pain beat, they're most likely trying to get some shit off the chest, man. So they need that space to breathe. Yeah, I might bring these hats up. Add some kicks in too. Even I had a perk like this. I usually use this for drill beats, but I think it'll work. All right, I'm gonna get the gunner snare in there as well. Let's copy that. It, you know and again that won't play throughout the whole beat let's have this in one part but i'm just adding some reverb to that so yeah let's actually throw all the drums in so i think i want to add some reverb to the rim as well even the hats we could add a little bit So yeah, for the drums, I think that's going to be it, man. Like I said, you want the drums to be really spacious, not too much going on, just save room for the artist to breathe. So let's go ahead and arrange this quick. And then I think we could probably just start with the piano. But I'm going to make this one unique and then take the count melody out. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we could add these vocals in. Yeah, there we go. Then cut the sub. Yeah, it's hard. Right, we need something new in this section here because I think I want to save the vocals for the hook. So I'm thinking we get this guitar. Yeah, like that. And yeah, what I think we need to do is make a bridge. So we'll bring this over and maybe have this section. We'll take the 808 out and bring the sub bass back in. We'll take out the open hat. Could even take out the hats and bring these vocals back in. Take out that snare too. And then just cut everything. We'll see how this sounds. Mm, sounds crazy. So much pain in this beat man all right then i'm gonna copy this over and just have a little break at the beginning all right quick change of mind because the beat's gonna be way too long if i arrange it like this i wouldn't usually mind but these two verses are almost four minutes which is kind of long these days so i'm gonna keep this long intro we'll have this as the verse this is a bridge and then we'll keep this as the hook then i'm just gonna get rid of these and bring everything back here the last thing that I did was I just pitched the piano and the pad up three semitones. I rendered them and then brought them back down three just to add more of a vintage texture. All right, I think that's going to be it, man. So let's have a listen from the beginning. So yeah, just starting off with the piano, vocals and sub bass. So this beat is sick man I can hear like pure pain bars on it Simple bounce but this is the stuff people are choosing Guitar sounding real nice too See how I 
I've found space for each separate thing. We don't always have to play on top of each other. And most of the sounds in this beat are from my Love and War kit, so definitely check that out. And yeah, man, if you're feeling this beat and you want to hear more emotional or pain stuff, then click up here. Or if you want to see me working with an artist, click up here. <laughs> 